All right, question 11. Question 11, it's about long division. Okay, so it's pretty long. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do long division right here. So we have a lengthy polynomial that's quadric to the fourth power. 6x to the fourth power, 10x cubed plus 13x squared minus 5x and plus 2. Let me make the horizontal line just a bit longer. All right, that's my dividend. And let me go ahead and write my divisor, 2x squared minus 1. Now, if you watched a previous video, I said that... Um, uh, you have to look at something peculiar to observe if there's anything going out of order. And right now, we are seeing something that's going out of order. If you look at the divisor, you have 2x squared minus 1. We've got something missing. We've got the x term missing. So that's why you must filled in the zero X. You have to put a filler right there. If not, uh, your multiplication or your division would be uh, pretty um, challenging ahead, okay? Now, long division, uh, it's lengthier. Uh, it's good uh, because if you have to divide by something that's more than a linear factor, like in this case, we have a quadratic divisor, then you can, only, you can only use long division. If it's just a simple x plus one, x minus one, that kind of uh, divisor, uh, then you can use synthetic. But uh, something more complicated, you can only do long division. So our first task is to find out what we can multiply to get six x to the fourth power, because we wanna cancel out the six x to the fourth power. So, uh, so that would be three, x squared, okay? 3x squared times 2x squared, giving you 6x to the fourth power. And then times 0x, so uh, you will have uh, plus 0x cubed. And then you have uh, negative 1 times 3x squared, so a negative 3x squared. All right, draw a straight line right there. And this is my practice that I would always put a minus in the front. And I will use a circle to, uh, I will circle the minus. So that I know it's not the negative sign for six, it is an operation, uh, it's a subtraction operation for the whole thing. So I'll be like, okay, six x to the fourth, minus six x to the fourth, so that's gone. 10 x cubed minus zero x cubed. Then we have uh, 10 x cubed. 13x squared minus negative 3x squared. Oh, hold on, I uh, wrote something wrong. Should be a square. Uh, 13x squared minus negative 3x squared. That gives you positive 16x squared. And this is where mistakes could likely be made. It's when students, they either forgot that, oh, there are two minuses. You have to change it to addition, okay? Uh, I would say this is probably the most likely mistake that uh, students could make. All right, so that's the first step. Next, we will need to find out what do we multiply so that we can get 10x cubed because we would like to cancel out the 10x cubed. So we will have 5x, okay? 2x squared times 5x would give us 10x cubed. Uh, then plus zero x squared, and then minus five x. So uh, let's go ahead and do the subtraction. So they're gone. So we have 16 x squared, and then plus, well, oh, uh, let me also uh, do the uh, minus right here. Uh, negative five x minus negative five x, which gives you uh, zero x. And then we bring down the plus two, okay? And we say, all right, so uh, what do we have here? What do we need to multiply to get us the 16 X squared? And we say, uh, we will need to multiply by eight. So eight times two, which is 16 X squared, 
plus zero x and then minus eight. So uh, draw a line. Let me write down my subtraction. So 16x squared is gone. Zero x, zero x be gone. Negative two minus negative eight, which should give us a positive 10. So, so what's the uh, answer? What's the quotient? Well, we have a quotient right here and then we have the remainder though. So the remainder, it's gonna be, uh, so we'll write down plus 10 over 2x squared minus one. Okay. Uh, now, if, uh, if there's anything uh, that you may not know how to write the uh, remainder, uh, my suggestion is this. Uh, this is how I got through my uh, long division. You think about a simple long division like this one. This is uh, five or two, so uh, 17 divided by three is the same thing as uh, five plus two over three. Then you know you have the remainder on top and the divisor in the bottom. 